Now let's look at our project in Factory Talk View Studio. The RS View 32 project was imported into a Factory Talk View SE project, and communications were configured in video number two. As I mentioned, VBA code was not moved automatically. If I open the tank detail display, you can see that it looks just like it did in RS View 32. Recall that the VBA code to populate the tank detail screen was triggered from the three tank buttons using the VBA exec command. This command does not exist in View SE. For each of the three tank buttons, we'll go into the properties and remove the release action. On the Common tab, we'll give each button an appropriate name. This is important because VBA code in Vue SE uses the object name, so a more descriptive name is helpful. Now let's open the VBA code for the Tank 1 button. Notice that the VBA editor is automatically opened to the BTN Tank 1 released event. This event corresponds to using the VBA exec command on a button release action in RSView32. If we repeat this for the other two buttons, we can see that each button gets its own section of code that is executed when the button is clicked and released. Now, let's pause for a minute and talk about migrating VBA code. There is no straightforward rule that will tell you exactly how to port RSView32 code to Vue SE. VBA code migration requires analytical thought about the desired functionality and implementation. This demo is intended to give you a straightforward example that migrates fairly easily so that you can see how it's done. Now, let's go back to the Vue SE VBA code. One important thing to remember is that the tag database is not part of the Vue SE object model, as it is in RS View 32. Therefore, in order to interact with tag values in the Vue SE tag database through VBA, we need to create something called a tag group and add all of the HMI tags we want to access to it. We will do this when the tank detail screen loads by using the screen's display animation start event. This event exists as part of the view SE object model. To clean up the VBA code properly, the tag group should be destroyed using the screen's display before animation stop event. We have the code to create and destroy the tag group already written and can import it into our project. As you can see, a module is added to the VBA. This module contains a finished version of all the procedures we will be working with in this project. I'll open the imported module and find the Display Animation Start and Display Before Animation Stop procedures. I will copy those procedures and paste them into this display module. If we look at these procedures, we can see that a tag group is created here. In subsequent lines, HMI tags are added to the group, first the memory tags and then the device tags. Adding these tags to the tag group allows us to access them through VBA, replacing the view 32 gtagdb global variable. There is also error handling code in this procedure. One more thing we will do is add a few declarations in the beginning of our tank detail display VBA. Next, let's import the VBA code that we exported from our RSView32 project so we can easily copy and paste from it. I should note here that when you import VBA classes and modules into a project, they are imported only for the display you're working on. VBA code is not automatically imported into other displays. 
Now let's implement the button functionality in our View SE project. We'll select and copy the code in the Show Tank Data procedure in the This Project class imported from RSView32 and paste it into the BTN Tank1 Released procedure. Now we need to make changes to the VBA in order for it to be functional in View SE. First, we'll change all references to the RSView32 tag database to use the tag group we created. We'll replace all instances of gtagdb with gpgroup.item. Next, the desired tag variable is no longer needed since our procedure is called from the tank1 button. We'll update the code to account for this. First, we'll update the load tank line of code. Next, the message does not need to be built using the desired tank variable. We'll change that to tank1. Write activity log view 32 is no longer valid. We want to write to the factory talk diagnostics log instead, so we'll update that line. Now that we have updated the code, we can copy and paste it into the tank 2 and tank 3 button release code. We will have to update the tank numbers to 2 and 3. Finally, we need to update the load tank info procedure. It's found in the tank data manipulation module. First, we need to add a byref reference to the tag group in this module in order to be able to use it here. Next, we'll replace the gtag db references with tag group dot item. And finally, we'll update the error handling to write to the Factory Talk Diagnostics log. And that's it. We do need a little cleanup. We need to remove the Tank Detail All Procedures module and the This Project class module. They aren't needed anymore. Now we'll save our VBA and test our work. As you can see, the data values are updating as we click the buttons for the different tanks. There are no error messages in the Factory Talk Diagnostic Status display. So our VBA import was successful. This simple example was meant to give you an idea of how you can begin to migrate RSView32 VBA code to View SE. As you've seen, some modules from View32 can be reused in View SE with modifications. You can also import code temporarily in order to copy and paste from it. One final note. Keep in mind that there is functionality native to Vue SE that may replace some of what your RSView32 VBA code was doing. For example, language switching or numeric entry limit checking. I also wanted to give you a few knowledge base answer IDs that will be useful. Answer ID 51770 includes a lab manual and all sample code for the migration example used in this video series. Chances are that your project's VBA will require more rework than our example, but we hope you now have an idea of the type of work that will be required. Thanks for watching.